Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a sky like this with so much promise and potential and excitement. There's so much to tell you about. So let's start with the full moon. Right around the ninth of the month, we are going to have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with home. It has to do with your family of origin and your understanding of your past and of your ancestors as well. It is going to be this full moon that is speaking in supreme harmony with Mars, giving it that much more energy, that much more excitement. And so for you, this can represent a time when either you're just spending more time at home, spending more time with your family, or maybe it is that you're hoping to make changes on the home front as well. And this is going to be an energy that feels like it fills you with very energy uh, to make those changes at this time. So for some of you, this may be actually having more people at your home, but buying, selling, moving, new roommates, stuff like that can happen under energy like this, especially where it is that you are motivated to make it happen. Mars is after all an energy of motivation. It may take you a moment to sit with and contemplate and consider whether or not these are changes that you want to uh, actually embrace or partake in or move forward with. But regardless, once you move past that moment of being still, of asking yourself more deeply, it is going to be then that a very quick, perhaps impulsive moment leads you to take action. So again, that could be making changes on the home front. It could be actually changing your home altogether. But it could also be just wanting to spend more time with your family of origin, your parents in particular, where it is that that applies. Now, this can also be you fueled by excitement to learn something about your ancestry, something about your past. And overall, it looks like to be a truly happy event. It will be as we navigate forward right around the 23rd of the month is when we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is happening in a very social part of your sky. Uh, it has to do with group endeavors, including professional endeavors, also the friendships that you have as well. So whether it is that you are invited to or attending social functions or just being sure to connect with your friends, well, this is a really great new moon to do just that. By the time we get to this new moon, Mercury will already be retrograde for almost a week in the same part of the sky. And so for you, friendships from the past can find you at this time in sometimes really surprising ways. It is going to be Uranus and Mars both that are speaking in harmony with this new moon. And that amps up the level of surprise encounters, surprise reunions that are taking place for you. So if you get any kind of social invitations, I would encourage you to accept. You don't know who you're going to run into, but when you do, chances are it is going to be enjoyable. It is going to be delightful. At the same time, though, this can be a really great time to consciously reunite or have reunions or in some way reach out to people that maybe you've lost touch with, but now seems like a really good time for you to fortify those alliances once again. If it is that you are involved in a professional group endeavor or you were hoping to, where it felt like a certain role or a certain opportunity passed you by, well, it is going to be around this new moon that it feels like it comes back around, but it's brand new. It's not the same thing. And it may even be better than what it felt like the opportunity was for you before. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we are going to have... Uh, Venus, your ruling planet, move into the sign just before yours. And this makes love decidedly quiet. It brings love behind the scenes as well. And there's going to be some part of you that even though we've got all that social energy playing out, there is going to be a part of you that wants to be a little bit more private than perhaps you're used to, that wants to have more downtime, especially where it comes to how it is that you are understanding love in your life. Now, if it is that you're open to meeting someone new, I do want to make you aware when Venus moves into this part of the sky, as she does about a week into the month, uh, well, this tends to represent um, perhaps attracting somebody into your life that's 
a little complicated, okay? So there may be factors there that make it so that you're not necessarily ready to announce to the world that you've met this new person. And it also suggests a need to kind of take it slow, to let it take a pace uh, that isn't necessarily rushed. It also does suggest that if it is that you are connecting with someone new at this time, to allow them time to show you who they are. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, um, I do think that Venus moving into this part of the sky does denote um, you actually wanting to understand what may be happening between you and this person a little bit more deeply. And so it tends to be that we start moving beyond just the superficial and start to evaluate whether or not this person is meant to stay or meant to go. Now, the other layer to this is it is also possible that at this time it feels as if you are just not able to spend more time or spend as much time with this person, whether it is that they are sort of gone for a little while for whatever reason, or whether it is you uh, that is wrapped up in something else, a project of your own, just know that moments like this do suggest that there might be a little bit of a breather that might transpire with someone that you're just getting to know. And for those of you who are in an established bond with Venus in this part of the sky. It really is about love becoming a lot more private. It's about truly having a sacred space between you and your partner. That full moon happening at the very foundation of your chart is only fortifying that move that much more, especially if it is that you live with this person. Chances are you'll be much more interested in downtime and spending your time alone just for the two of you. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot here, but I am actually going to say that new moon that takes place right around the 23rd of the month. I love that new moon because it is so social and it is a part of the sky that also represents big opportunity. This isn't just about career advancement, but this is really about you thinking in a more visionary way, in a more lofty way and having new opportunities that truly feel like they are a leap forward. There are times when it isn't what you know, it's who you know. And with this new moon, it really is the people that you're already connected to that can be part of opening up new doors. Now, sometimes those doors are professional, but they can also be doors of happiness and genuine fulfillment that you find now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.